First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing his truth and sincerity by Hashem Rokak Wadash. I'm not sure what I'm entitled this video, but I want to speak on how we're supposed to be wise, you know. Especially towards them that are without, you know. Whenever we're not around the body, we have to be very careful. You know, um, the scriptures say, I send you forth as sheep among the wolves. All right. It also says, therefore be wise as a serpent and gentle as a dove. You know, because... Those that are without, you know, are, are, are lacking of understanding, you know, when it comes to matters, you know, of disagreement. And whenever you're not around the body, you can basically, you can get into situations where, you know, the wisdom can, can really help you maneuver, you know, and you know, we're not always right, but nonetheless, we have to use the wisdom, you know, we have to make sure we don't uh, let anger, you know, get the best of us that, you know, that we don't, uh, you know, sin with our lips, you know, when we speak to people and, you know, situations arise in the workplace, at the store, the doctor or where, you know, the, you know, whatever, wherever you uh, frequent, you know, you can fill in the blank, but, you know, we have to be wise because a lot of our people, they don't understand how to, uh, how to reason, you know, with, with their, with their fellow man, you know, we, we have to learn how to reason, you know, how to, how to give and how to take, you know, rebuke and reproof, you know, learn how to humble down, how to listen, you know, because we're walking in this world amongst other people, you know. And we have this truth, so we, we, we must, you know, conduct ourselves to the best of our ability and be upright. Okay. This is, uh, let's start here. Let's, let's start here. I got a couple of scriptures, Lord willing. Um, this would be edifying, you know, this is just to help us. Um, you know, remember, you know, when we're dealing out there away from the body, you know, we should call these scriptures to mind. So this is Proverbs 20 and 5. No. 25 and 9. Proverbs 25 and 9. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself and discover not a secret to another. Okay. So if you if you have... You know, a situation arises with your neighbor. Hey, man, you know, you're supposed to go to him, you know, himself. Strong's H, 7378, Reeve, Reeve. It says and strive. Second entry, Ruve, Ruve. Strive, contend physically with words to conduct a case or a suit legal, sue to make a complaint, quarrel to contend against. So the scriptures say um, to debate thy cause with thy neighbor, man. So, you know, it, it's a righteous thing, man, to, to conduct, a, you know, a case, you know, to physically strive with words, to make a complaint, to quarrel, to, to contend against, okay? Whether it be disrespect, you know, whether it be a, 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 a you know, a legal issue, you know, whether it be, um, you know, disagreements, what, whatever, you know, someone says something to you, bring, you know, the point is, Hey, you know, it, it's good to bring it to somebody, man. Sometimes, you know, some, sometimes you, uh, you, you take an L and you pray that the heavenly father, uh, uh, lets this person see, you know what they're doing. But if you, if you have to say something to somebody, man, if you have to debate your cause, man, do that, you know, 
it says and discover not a secret to one another but when you do that you know you you don't you know you don't you don't go over overboard and talk about secrets you know you, when you when you bring something to somebody talk about that issue it's it's that issue it's not um you know something they confided to you 15 years ago or whatever the case no debate thy cause with thy neighbor you know that that's good it's good because if you know we live in a world where people you know they they uh you know they sweep things under the rug and and, and it, it just things fester man you know problems they, they they don't go away unless you unless you talk about them matter of fact let's get this in the book of matthew 18 <clears throat> This is uh, Matthew 18 and 15. Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. Okay. And right now I'm speaking about um, those that are without. I'm not talking about brothers in the truth. But you know what? Fellow Israelites, man, they're, they're, they're uh, you know, they're, they're, they're brothers, you know, for, for uh, if you will. They're not brothers in the truth, but hey, you know, they're Israelites, okay? You know, and, and even, uh, even uh, you know, heathens, you know, even even uh, other people from other nations, man, hey, it, it's it's good to, to, you know, if somebody trespasses against you or if you got to debate your cause with, with your neighbor, to go and tell them this fault bef uh, between uh, you and him alone, you know, before you go to others, you know, go to that person. Okay, and if he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. And that's the thing, you know, if someone's willing to hear you, then hey, man, hey, I'll praise the Alba Shimia Shai, you can get somewhere. But we live in a world where uh, if you bring something to somebody, man, all of a sudden, you know, you're a hater, uh, you're not a team player, you're a, you're, you're, you're a problem, this, that, and the third. And that, that's, not, that's not necessarily the case, you know, but the thing is, our, our people are, are so proud. You know what I mean? And want to be right all the time. Or, or you know, they're just exercising lordship. And especially in the workplace. You know, you can't, you can't even bring something up to a, to a boss or a supervisor because all of a sudden you, uh, you know, you're, you're an issue. You know what I mean? And this, that, and the third. But so, and, and that's supposed to be taken with, with balance, too, because, you know, you're there to do a job. You're not there to, to be Mr. Right. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes in, in the spirit, when, 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 you know, the spirit tells you that you have to say something, sometimes, you know, the, hey, hey, you, you have to, you, you have to do just that, you know? Let's see. This is Proverbs 9 and 8. Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man and he will love thee. Okay. And that's the thing, man. You know, you you can tell when someone got an issue with you, okay? If you re, if you reprove them, okay? You rebuke them, right? And they hate you. You know? That's how you know that you were in the right. Okay? Strong's H 3198. Yahach. Right. To to prove. Decide, judge, rebuke, reprove, correct, be right. Okay? To show to be right. When you show somebody that you're right, you present your case. You know, you somebody trespassed against you. You bring them, uh, 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 them to the side and, and you tell them their fault or whatever. Uh, and and uh, you prove that you're correct. You know? Convince, convict, reprove, re uh, chide, to correct, rebuke, to chasten, to reason together, to argue. You see? You might get into an argument in the grocery store. You know, here is you were waiting in line. And when you turn the other way, somebody quickly, uh, 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 you know, snuck in there with their, you know, two little items, you know, and you've been waiting for a half hour, whatever the case. Now, yeah, it's cool to let them go by. But, you know, sometimes you're like, hey, man, shoot, I've been waiting here forever. I need to get up out of here. Whatever the case may be. That's an extreme circumstance. You know, why wouldn't you let somebody go by? But that's it. That's, that's just that's just a quick example. You know, somebody cuts you off in traffic. You know, somebody says something about you, throwing dirt on your name at work, taking on, taking the taking your credit. Whatever the case, man, when you argue with somebody, okay, and you rebuke them, and they hate you, 
guess what? The issue falls with that person. But if you if you if you reprove, if you argue, you correct, you know what I'm saying? You 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 prove your case to a wise man, hey, and they hear you, hey, they'll love you for that. You know? They'll love you for that because you set them up. You 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 put them up on some understanding, on some wisdom. You maybe pointed out something towards them or in them that they needed to hear. You know, hey man, you know what? You were right. You know what I'm saying? I did go overboard. I, you know, such and such, and hey, you know what? Hey, it won't happen again, or whatever the case. No, no, no. You're good, bro. It's all good, man. You know, and you move forward. That's how it's supposed to be among brothers, among Israelites. You know. But these people of the world, man, which they're they're brothers too, man. They're Israel, our fellow Israelites, man. They're they're a proud for they're a proud people, man. You know, they they don't they don't want to hear no type of reasoning. They don't, you know. They want to be right in wickedness. You know, they they don't understand, you know, how to deal. You know, we we have to learn how to deal, man. Proverbs 28 and 5, evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things, you see? And, and you might judge them in an issue, in a matter, you know? But they don't, they don't understand that. They don't want to be wrong. It, you know, to them, you know, you uh, uh, going back and forth is the best way to go. You know what I'm saying? Doing somebody uh, 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 wrong, you know, you know, be, having malice. You know, doing doing some sneak dissing and, 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 you know, just not letting, not clearing things up. And, you know, that's how, that's the route they will go. So evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understand all things. You see? So in a way, you know, we have a one up on, on, on people, you know, especially our people, because they don't understand judgment, man. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're, you're supposed to, a spiritual man judgeth all things. The natural man uh, 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 it's foolishness to the natural man. They don't understand that, you know, hey, you're supposed to judge things to the spirit. You're supposed to tell your fellow Israelite when they're going off, man. You know? Uh, Proverbs, back in Proverbs 9 and 9, give instruction to a wise man and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man and he will increase in learning. You see? Give instruction to a wise man and he will be yet wiser. Teach a just man and he will increase in learning. You see? And the scriptures say depart depart from a, a man when he is foolish. So you can't you can't always uh uh you gotta you gotta be very careful. You know, that's why you have to be wise as a serpent, gentle as a dove. You have to be very careful who you uh who you correct. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you could make an enemy for life. You know? It says give instruction to a wise man and he will be yet wiser, right? So, yeah, you, you instruct a wise man, you know, you, you, you show them the error of their way or, you, you know, you bring something to the table like, hey, man, look at this, man. Uh, you know, look at it this way. or They're going to be wiser, you know. You teach a just man and he will increase in learning, you know. And that's how you want to be. Proverbs 1 and 5, a wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel, uh, attain unto wise counsels. So a wise man's gonna hear you, man. He's gonna increase in learning. A man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. A man who is of understanding, he's gonna listen. He's gonna hear that advice. He's gonna hear your purpose. He's gonna hear your reasoning and be like, you know what? Yeah, cool. You're right. You know, but unfortunately, we live in a world where where um, you know, foolishness prevails. You know, opinions, okay, and evil ones at that, okay. Let's see. Let's get Colossians 4 and 5. It says, walk in wisdom towards them that are without redeeming the time. Yeah. We have to walk in wisdom towards them that are without redeeming the time uh, walk in wisdom toward them that are without so you have to in your walk you know and I'm speaking specifically oh 
not a, away from the when you're away from the body, when you're away from brothers, man, when you're away from brothers, I'm talking about when you're out dealing in your life, whatever circumstances you you come across and with whoever walk in wisdom, brothers, towards them that are without redeeming the time. Be careful. You know, be careful, you know, where you frequent, be careful who you speak to, be careful who you correct and what situation you get into. And inevitably, unfortunately, things will happen, you know, you, you know, with certain individuals that are, you know, that are that are, you know, throughout your walk, throughout your life. But, you know, we have to walk in wisdom, be wise, use these words. OK, and and know that, you know, sometimes you got to take an L. You know, something you got to know the speech, scripture speak about suffering wrongfully, you know. But these scriptures also apply to us. So we have to examine ourselves, too, that we're not, you know, being. Uh, you know. Overwise or whatever the case, you know, sometimes. Sometimes you really just got to take L's, right? So it says, let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. Yeah, so let your speech be always with grace. Let it, you know, let it always be graceful. You know, have tact. You know, be wise. You know, be careful. Season with salt. Yeah, season with salt. You know, you know, let it have some, have some uh, flavor in it. You know, you have to remember to be upbeat. You know, and 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 uh, you know, cordial and you know. Don't be so stiff and rigid. Sometimes we, you know, when you're in the truth, you know, you don't want to all two thirds, you know, y'all are, are retarded. No, we got to be careful, man. You know, if you don't look down on people, you know, learn, you know, be be cordial. You know, people, people don't like when you're, uh, you know, people can sense when you're kind of like just you're there, but not there. You got to be there in the moment, if you will, because brothers you know you find yourself in all different types of situations man you gotta you know know how to read the room know how to get in you know hey hi you know hi how you doing you know and and get on out right that ye may know how you ought to answer every man right you gotta think you know how, how am i gonna answer this man huh you know according to what they said you know i don't even know me they're, they're just already off the bat how, how do you how do you respond you know many different scenarios and situations we gotta turn to these scriptures okay so Lord willing, this is edifying. It's just a little something for brothers that, you know, when you're away from, uh, you know, the body and when you're out there in the in the world dealing, you know, things that we should bring to mind. Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to say shalom.